Hey guys, welcome back to another Disc Golf Examiner Disc Review. Today I'm joined by Tim Sladisky, one of the Rec Masters. Check him out on YouTube. And how you doing today, Tim? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Fantastic, because it's a beautiful day here. Just after Thanksgiving, beautiful weather. Uh, not too cold, not too hot. Perfect. Exactly. J just like this disc, it's, it's perfect. We have the Dynamic Discs Witness in the Lucid and the Biofusion plastics. Uh, what we love about this disc is how understable it is. You'll notice uh, Tim and I are both intermediate players. Um, this isn't really a disc that would suit a pro-armed player unless you, I really just don't think it would fit. I really, no. So Tim and I are gonna throw it. You guys can take a look at how we throw it. If it's right for you, just keep in mind, we're both intermediate players here. So uh, let's start off with going to the profile. Let's go. The dynamic that's witness in the lucid plastic has a nice smooth feel to it. It's not too wide of a rim. So just about any player can feel comfortable when holding this disc. The biofusion plastic with the witness has a nice firm grip to it. It's very much uh, more grippy than the lucid plastic. And that's what I really like about it. When I threw the lucid witness on a hyzer release it flipped up the flat rode nice and straight for a good ways before hyzering out slightly at the end when i threw the biofusion witness on a hyzer line it held that line pretty nice it didn't quite flip up the flat which surprised me compared to the lucid when i threw the lucid witness on a hyzer it flipped up went straight and faded back to the middle at the end When I threw the Biofusion Witness on a hyzer, it held the hyzer line pretty much the entire flight and finished left. When I threw the Lucid Witness on a flat release, it stayed on that release on that straight line for the entire flight and then just slightly faded towards the end. When I threw the Biofusion Witness on a flat release, it didn't quite stay flat the entire way. It actually started the hyzer out earlier in the flight than the Lucid. I threw the Lucid Witness flat, it flipped up, went straight, and finished straight at the end. When I threw the Biofusion Witness flat, it flipped up and had a lot more turn than the Lucid did, and then finished longer, but still straight. When I threw the Lucid Witness on an Anheuser, it held that Anheuser line the entire way. This would be very useful for closer Anheuser shots. When I threw the Biofusion Witness on an Anheuser, it held that Anheuser for a good ways before reliably coming back and dumping out of it. When I threw the Lucid Witness on an Annie, I threw it up a little higher so it had a little bit more time to fade out at the end. When I threw the Biofusion Witness on an Anheuser, I threw it a little bit too high and it had time to fade out at the end. When I released the Lucid Witness for a roller, it took that roller line very well. It went a long ways, nice and straight, and then uh, ended up to the right at the end, right where I wanted. When I threw the Biofusion Witness on a roller, it actually did exactly what the Lucid one did. Um, it just didn't make it around the tree there at the end. When I threw the Lucid Witness on a roller, it held the roller very nice and finished near the basket. Hey, I don't even throw rollers. When I threw the Biofusion Witness on a roller, it didn't even try to turn over and seemed to finish more stable to the left. And that's how we threw the Dynamic Disc Witness in the Lucid and Biofusion Plastics. Tim, overall thoughts of the disc? Did you like the Witness? I did. It was uh, nice and understable for sure, and glidey too, which surprised me. Yeah, you've never thrown the Witness before? I have not. So, it, as a disc, would this go in your bag? Maybe, actually, yes. Uh, I like how it turned over, and it was good for rollers too, which is a shot I do not have. So it'd be good to work on it. Yeah, fantastic. That's that's uh, a shot that I really want to try to incorporate into mine as well. Whenever I do, I try to use the witness. This is in my bag. 
I've had a witness in there since I first started and I've never taken it out because it's so reliable for those wooded shots where you're trying to get in between trees. Maybe you need to do an ante. Maybe, maybe you do need a roller. And uh, this is always one that has always hit its mark with me. So I really like the witness. Um, I'm glad that you liked it too there, Tim. Yeah. So uh, as a disc, we, I think we both give it a thumbs up, right? I give it a thumbs up for sure. Awesome. Well, hey guys, that's going to do it for our review of the Dynamic Disc Witness and the Lucid and Biofusion Plastics. Thank you so much to Dynamic Disc for sending us the Biofusion Witness. I had never seen one before, so to this actually... This thing is swirly, too, so yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's a little swirly. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool-looking disc. Hey guys, until next time, remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, leave comments, share it. We love it whenever you guys share our stuff uh, and, and are interactive with us. And check out Rec Masters on YouTube. That's Tim and his buddy Mike, Mike who do uh, reviews uh, as well. So definitely check them out. They're here in the Pittsburgh area. So until next week, guys, keep, keep banging, banging those chains. chains. <laughs>